Although Czechoslovakia retained strong military production capabilities after the end of World War II, its air defense weapons were a weak point in the country's defense. For a long time, it continued to use air defense weapon systems from World War II, such as 20mm, 30mm, and 88mm anti-aircraft guns, or their subsequent derivative versions. Despite being developed in the late 1950s, the M5359 Lizard self-propelled anti-aircraft gun remained at a World War II level and served for several decades. In the 1980s, when air defense missiles and guided radars had become widespread, Czechoslovakia decided to develop a new generation of air defense weapons, which led to the creation of the Strop-2 self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle. Originally, Czechoslovakia planned to collaborate with Poland on the development, but due to the unstable situation in Poland, Czechoslovakia decided to take on the design themselves. With limited technical expertise, they initially attempted development under the name Strop. Strop I, based on the BVP-1 infantry fighting vehicle chassis, experimented with a new fire control system, including a laser rangefinder, television camera, and optical sight. With the technological achievements of Strop Y, development of Strop II began in 1987 and was not completed until 1996. The vehicle used the same chassis as the Dana-wheeled self-propelled howitzer, which was modified from the Tatra T815 truck chassis. From the outside, the armored driver's cabin and engine compartment of Strop II were similar to those of Dana, with the most noticeable difference being the combat turret located in the middle of the vehicle. This large-sized turret is a combined gun and missile combat weapon system. Initially, an upgraded twin 30mm anti-aircraft gun derived from the main gun of the Lizard self-propelled anti-aircraft gun was planned. However, it was later changed to the Soviet 2A38 30mm anti-aircraft gun with a maximum theoretical firing rate of 2400 rounds per minute and 1300 rounds of ammunition on board. Its maximum range is 4,000 meters, and it is equipped with a PKT 7.62 mm machine gun as auxiliary armament with 2,000 rounds of ammunition. Four Aero 2 portable air defense missiles were initially installed at the rear of the turret, but they were later replaced with four Needle portable air defense missiles. During testing, an important issue was discovered. Although the eight-wheel chassis provided the vehicle with good mobility and stability for anti-aircraft gun firing, Czechoslovakia did not handle the turret's movement system well, resulting in the turret being unable to rotate and stabilize efficiently during combat. Apart from this, the overall performance of Strop 2 was good, and success was within reach. Shortly after, Czechoslovakia faced difficulties, and the development of Strop 2 was in crisis. The related work was halted in 1993, but Slovakia temporarily took over. It was renamed Brahms ZRPK and replaced the 30mm gun with a 35mm Oerlikon anti-aircraft gun. However, after completing the prototype, it was also abandoned due to Slovakia's poor financial situation and inability to purchase new equipment. The Brahms ZRPK self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle weighs approximately 27 tons, with a gun elevation angle of 5 degrees to 85 degrees and a maximum operational altitude of about 4,000 meters. It has a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 700 kilometers. The crew consists of four people, three people for Strop 2. 